girl for a thrash. Look, she's always put a leg over her. <laughs> bomb guys after a wet ride it just goes plop it's it's quite miraculous for someone who's OCD tidy I just thought I'd capture this it may never get shared depending on the edit but there you go that's a Ros bomb epic love this bit love this bit bowl table over and out that's my little wings <laughs> like we haven't had enough riding today. Hey, Mark. We've still got to go to the top of that hill. Can't that see hill. <laughs> so we're going to go to the lookout and have a look out and then find a good pub on the way back and get a good feed. Need a beer. Put some calories back on from that freaking ride today. That was insane through that rain. And I know the videos never show it, but it was mad. One for the lookout. One for the lookout. Boy's got to have his beer. Come on, Artemis. Three and a half k's to the Oxley lookout. Let the midnight special. <laughs> Shine a light on me. Mark, let's try it. Can the Check these ones out. <laughs> There's tops. a bunch of magic. That shirt like boobies. <laughs> oh, kind of funny boobies. You know, I guess if you had some, they might look a bit better. <laughs> All right, we're off to the Square Man restaurant. A recommendation by Cat and Clues. But today's Monday, and a lot of restaurants are closed on a Monday, so we don't know if she's open. One way to find out. I'm hungry. <laughs> Quick, get away from the marches. <laughs> Noodle house. <laughs> All the restaurants are closed on a Monday. I just spotted Noodle House. This is us. Give me my noodles. Oh look, number 69, only $9.80. <laughs> what do you reckon? Noodle House? Back to the Halle Chalet with our noodles. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I think I remember the way back. I think I remember the way back, yeah. after a few more roads <laughs> yeah I think it is yeah past there It's only like one minute away from the Woolies. <laughs> now I remember. <laughs> it 
is this Woolies on this side of town. <laughs> Look at all the bats taken off. Bat City. Woo! Look at the lightning in the background. There's another storm brewing. Here we are. It's here, Mark. <laughs> what spins me out about noodles like that was a bowl that came in and this is how I got a full plate and look how full the bowl still is <laughs> you gonna help me out there Mark turn the light off <laughs> <laughs> bon appetit do you he'll bon be safe in 10 minutes mm. good effort Mark <laughs> yeah, the bomb strut just going through everything more repair patches on my mattress Posting the shit back. And the good old Klein Artemis, she's going home too. The Getting there, eh, Mark? The Ros bomb has hit. The Ros bomb. I'm slowly sorting through it. This is like my kind of finished pile. Back to my little OCD, nice, neat self. Getting there. From um, Kananara? No, from Kananara. That's from Kananara. Back then you turn right, go up through Kalambaru, and it's on the, it's on the, it's on the ocean. Up the top no. There. No. So it's like a mish. Mark took off from Kununurra and I crossed over. Freaking bat. Timber Creek and then I went <laughs> And here's our golden neighbours. <laughs> At the Tamworth Caravan Park. Brett and Glenn. Brothers. <laughs> Dirt life. <laughs> How many bites have you got, Brett? 10, 11. Oh, my God. And... Brett and Glenn, you don't ride anymore, but you used to ride, right? I've got a car with flashy lights on, I don't have to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Glenn put out the flyers for anyway. us last year in New yeah. South Wales. Now he just rides the trails and just make sure we've still got good fire trails out there, safe to ride on. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> not really, no, not really, no. <laughs> And they fed Mark and I as well. Gold! Best meal ever! Yeah, lucky to have neighbours like you guys. Woo! So I'm going to catch you for coffee in the morning because I'm going to get you two beautiful it's wives. Oh, here hand. she is, the lethal wife. <laughs> More guns than Lara Croft. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you girls in the morning. No, no, I's, we've had a complaint from a neighbour. We've got to keep the noise down so it's, you know, it's, we, we all have to go to Nana Nunu bed at 9.30. Our neighbours are packing up their big rig and off on another adventure. Oh, you're looking beautiful, darling. Ever the beautiful. Oh, Thank you, darling girl. Oh, Thank I'm you so for that good beautiful to meet dinner you. last night and the great combo. I definitely cross paths with you guys again. Yeah. You guys are a hoot. <laughs> the dirt family. I know. But you know what? For me, that's nothing new. I know. <laughs> I know. 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 Old farts. What's wrong with them? Everyone's on holidays. Will you guys have the best journey we ever, will. hey? We will. Enjoy it. We'll Happy on. New Year's. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. Stay, stay, stay upright. <laughs> this kid's a little weapon on his bike. Keeps bloody stealing his dad's bikes. Look at this cracker. It's gold. What a retro bike with the white walls. Great rig. All right, Zal. Off to the bike shop. Let's get Artemis fixed. You too, Dal. Come on, Artemis, off to the doctor. Give you a new little heart. She's getting a new fuel pump. Yay! Give her a bit more grunt. 50,000 kilometres in 20 months. Less, 19 months. New one, she needs a new one. All right, let's go. And this is her, naked. Hey, little girl, nice and light. Scars are cool sign of a great adventure. Meet you at the bike shop, doll. By the time I talk to them. And then I'm pillion for a chat. You're probably the only person I'll trust being on the back. Pillion. <laughs> See you down there. See you, Brucey. Get back. Yay. 
Here he is. My chauffeur for the day. Woohoo! Yeah, that's all right. I've only got a little ass. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Hi ho, silver away! <laughs> So we're heading back to the camp now, just to pack up. We're gonna get out of the chalet because we're getting a little bit too soft and comfortable. So we're, and hopefully the storms are finished, so we're back into our tent. You know, it's a bit like Stockholm Syndrome. We love our tent and air mattresses, so we'll pack up and get into a tent for one more night tonight, and then hopefully the bike will be finished this afternoon. And we hit the frog and toad back on our adventure. Where to next is anyone's guess. Wherever there's no freaking rain. Eh? I love the sound of Bruce. <laughs> nice to sit on. And the rack's nice and comfortable to hold on to. Hey, hey Brucey. You're yeah, cool. All right. We've set up our little houses. There's a storeroom. There's the main house. <laughs> and now we're just gonna head into town, two up, and go feed the beast. Feed the beast. I'm hungry again. <laughs> Let's go, Brucey. Get some food. You Get some start, food. Your start your bastard. So this is the stuff that I'm posting back to my, my apartment back in Perth. It's my climb Artemis and Brucey's backpack. Mark, I've oh. seen the back of that bag and things fall out of it and we nearly <laughs> left it at bloody on the way to Arca Ruler and Yeah, that was freaking gold. Oh, this she, bag. She's gone. Great she's memories gone. eh? She's gone. So he's actually gonna keep it, send it back as a memento. Oh, that's right. gold. That's, that's Did you do the canning stock route with that one okay. as well? <laughs> yeah, that. there you go. Freak, you got your money's worth out of that I one. Think I might have. All right. All Here right. Australia Post. Here we go. Ace. You have to check my post office box. There's more coming. Look at that. That's half a penny is worth of shit. So my top bag will be heat slider. Yay. Yeehaw. The golden guitar. Run away. Golden guitar. This one's my best buddy Ace back home. Gold. Not only my best mate, but WA state champion Rodeo Roper for many, many, many years in a row. This is for you, Ace. I love you, darling. learn how to line dance. <laughs> oh, I love your ace. This is for you, darling. So Mark's going to drop me off at Woolies so I can do my food shopping. He's going to go back and have a little play with Brucey. Try and find this air leak with a can of start, you bastard. Thanks, darling. Yeah. Best chauffeur ever. Rockets are in, so Mark's just going to go pick up a brand new little replacement Perspex extender screen that he made for Brucey. And my sprockets have finally arrived, so he's going to pick them up and drop them off to the mechanics who's doing my fuel pump and stuff. And then that's it, we're done, buddy. I forgot to say, Mark's courier services. <laughs> Summer holidays, it's I just quadruple it, time. But, put it on my uh, tab, mate. But I'll just give you credit for this. <laughs> <laughs> You've been such a lovely camping buddy. Oh, oh. Just... Alrighty, here we go. <laughs> just go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, darling. Quick, I better put the colour in my hair, finish off a vid, and we're hopefully last night here and we're out of here. And fingers crossed the rain will stop. Bye! See ya! Nothing worse than going to the trouble of dyeing your grey skunk stripe. 
incentive works so well. Shit, shit. <laughs> Just can't embrace 100% feral. This is my 1%. <laughs> Stuff me. Carry on. Yay, just got the magic text from the bike shop. My baby girl is done. So I got a new radiator in her because the other one was a little bit banged up and after all the clogged up dirt over the miles and that, that was always an issue for me. And what it would cost to pull it out, send it in for a service and that was the same price as the new one, 180 bucks. And uh, she's got a new fuel pump, new filter assembly and uh, new front and rear sprockets, new chain. What else did I do on her? And just gave him a big list of other things to check, an engine light that comes on, and um, I've got a new front Scorpion rally on her. Anyway, let's go get her. And then tent shopping, because Mark's leaked a little bit, and I'm sick of getting wet. So I'll just get another temporary three manor until we find the unicorn tent. And Mark made his new little replacement windscreen. 25 bucks for a bit of Perspex. Oh, yeah. Hey, Brucey. It's top secret. Tell anyone I'll be. Oh, you're a bargain hunter, Dal. Oh, you should have glued this up while you're at it. Oh, I'm going to need a screw. Mm. All right, let's go. Pillion for the last time. <laughs> oh, there's my mechanic, Greg. Where is she? There she is. I just saw her! <laughs> Alright, better go in the front way. Exciting! Yay! <laughs> Let's go! So anyway, this was a $1,600 trip to the bike shop, but there's a whole raft of things that was done. Um, and I finally got a pin lock for the commander. Critical! Yay! So I'll go through it all. I've just got to um, load her up and take her for a test right up to the lookout and make sure that sorts it but after all of that the last thing that was done was a code check on the engine and uh had like a faulty injector signal come up <laughs> so let's hope i didn't just replace the whole fuel pump assembly for a faulty injector we will see said the blind man oh my god i'm just so excited to throw our leg back over so we're going to make sure brucey gets a clean Clean your bike. Give him a wash. Poor Brucey. Show him some love, darling. Look after your bike and your bike will look after you. So Mark's got his brand new tent. $69.99 on special. <laughs> and it's got a little portico. So let's go set that sucker up for our last night in Tamworth. And then tomorrow, back out in the wild, and after all the freaking money I've spent in this town, I've got a wild camp for the next week and live off baked beans and dehydrated noodles. <laughs> Here's your little parking spot, darling. There we go. packing. That was a nightmare. That's, that was a little bit rounded, but lucky I've got a spare in there that I can use. Let's see what it looks like after 25,000 k's packing and it should last 30 hours. Let's have a look. Yeah, I took a little bit of a tap to get it off and she's a little bit crooked. Let's get it off. Yeah, a little bit overdue. <laughs> Fun and tight. Good to go. Get that sucker back on. Screw it all back on, put a bit of cement in there. Gotta get the cover back on, bolt her up, bolt her up, and we are done. Then it's wider, wine o'clock. Yay! Let's get this finished. What a mission. Yay! Everything's back on. Back on, back on. I've loaded her up. Pannier rack's back on. Everything. So I'm just gonna take her for a test run and uh, go get a kebab and go up to the lookout. And if the lack of power going up a hill issue is resolved. Fingers crossed. Oh my god, did we find the best hideaway? <laughs> Tamworth, Georgia, Lara, Co.
coffee, <laughs> best in Tamworth. Thank you. And the bacon, egg and cheese roll, Mark's safe. I'm no longer hangry. In fact, I've come back for a second one. <laughs> but I love this picture. That one. <laughs> that was me after the Noan Dock Trail and the pouring rain and the flowing rivers down the muddy, gnarly hill climb, riding with my visor up. That's what I look like at the end of it. <laughs> what was your name? Mick. Mick. On his right, GSR 1200. Yeah, don't drop it. <laughs> um, so anyhow, I was, I was uh, watching your story this morning. Yeah. And I thought you guys were out of cooler or going out cooler. We were. I'm just uploading the next one ah. where we went, mate. Uh, what was it? Pandora's Pass and did the big slip on the That's river crossing. Yeah, yeah, I'm on my way to a... Um, shop in the main street and I took the wrong street and I was oh there you go <laughs> it led you to that's how our journeys happen instead of a right we go left Brian and I are off the lightning ridge tomorrow oh the we've been meaning to go but and Mark suggested it but that means going north again yeah. but now the rain's cleared up yeah. so today we're going to head down to yeah. Nundal and I know <laughs> so it's an adventure all right well thanks it's a pleasure you. meeting you, you <laughs> see you buddy Stay up, right? Woo! The adventure continues. How exciting! So we did four nights here in total. But everything's done. Our camping gear, our maintenance, everything. So everything should be spot on, honky dory, for at least ten days of trails. dirt trail from the dam from the dam ran all on the other side of that mountain Let's go back. yeah that's what I'm thinking so from here we I know it's on the earth mate and it's got a couple of amazing camp spots and it follows the whole river at the base of the mountain so just to here we can actually turn left right up it and then just come back down that tarmac again what do you reckon yeah, and it looked like it would have been freaking amazing because look at look at the mountain ranges on the top o. Yeah, and I wanted to see that hanging rock. Got to do it. Done. We're doing it. Do the loop up that trail, then come back through Nundal and off to Hanging Rock. But we can't be this close to that beautiful trail that runs along the mountain and the rivers without actually doing it. And Artemis is running like a dream, yay! Not in me in time for a pub lunch by the time we get back here. Look at this cute little town! Oh my god, it's adorable! Oh, look at the river down there! Stunning! So this is like an old Kempsey, old graft, an old Glen in Ed sort of... Oh, so good. 
Ooh. Oh shit, here? Here? How exciting. We get to ride our bikes every day. How good is that? Mm -hmm. Hey, we're the lucky ones, star. In my head, I'm 16, I think, at the moment. Body's a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, riding bikes every day, forever young. My body's in the best condition it's ever been. Yeah. <sighs> Double fist pump. Power rate. That's it. All right, so we're off to, um, God, there's two ways we could have gone. I just found this, I've just done the big red squares. Um, but there's this amazing trail that runs all through the mountains and actually brings us out near Scone. But then there was the jock from Armadale Outdoors suggestion as well to Hanging Rock and through Barry Road and that brings us out down sort of near Elliston and then comes out Moon and Flat. So we're going to sort of head to Moon and Flat. We're going to avoid Barrington Tops for now. We'll come back and do that. But at the moment, the temperature up there is like 13 freaking degrees for the next four days in a row. And that's during the day, not at night time. So kind of going to avoid that. And we'll do that on the way back up from Bathurst. But I think we might get to Moon and Flats. And this is the exit of the trail that I just found then, which starts up here, just outside of Nundal, and then meanders down all through these freaking beautiful mountain ranges and comes out at Scone. So for now, we'll do this loopy one. And then on our way back from Bathurst, I definitely want to do that. So anyway, let's go.